Hi, this is Ron Lloyd with the Agronomy Team at 360 Yield Center out here in one of my cornfields. I thought it'd be a great day to talk a little bit about early season uh, scouting of your cornfields. <clears throat> so the first thing that I do when I get out of here is I want to stage this crop. So if you look kind of down the rows, you can kind of get a feel for what, uh, what this corn looks like. But if you look here real close, what you'll see is I want to stage it. So if you look at this first leaf on this plant, it's rounded. They call that the plumule, but it has a collar, and I count that as a true leaf. The second leaf on here, you'll see it also has the collar established. So we have two leaves with collars, but the third leaf that's still coming out does not have a collar. This is V2 corn. Two collars, two stages, V2. We even see the fourth one coming out, but it doesn't matter because we have two collars. The other thing that I do a lot of times is I'll go ahead and take an early stand count. If you look down this row, you'll see the rope that I just laid out. I always carry a rope with me. These are 30 inch rows, 17 feet, five inches. I'll lay that rope down and then I'll count both sides and divide by two. It'll give me a nice count. When I'm counting, I'm not just looking at the total plants. I'm also looking at, at plants that are in the same growth stage. If I have a plant that is a leaf stage behind, particularly if I have one two behind, I'm probably going to discount that a little bit because they're going to be be behind and may not uh, put on a viable ear. The other question I get a lot of times, particularly later, right now it's pretty easy to figure out what our, what our planting depth was, right? Because right here was where my soil depth was and I measure that and it was about an inch and three quarters. But as we get a little bit further along, we're going to notice that this seed is going to decay and we're not going to be able to figure out how deep we planted. What's really interesting about a corn plant is <clears throat> that we have a couple of root systems that establish. If you look that comes out of the tip of the, of the corn seed, that's called the radical. That's the first thing that comes out at the same time this coleoptile comes out and that's going to really help get this plant established. And these root systems here are called the seminal or the primary root system. They're, they're important early in the plant's life, but not for a real long time because these, the crown roots or the nodal roots, are what are going to become the primary basis of what this corn is going to feed on. And this corn plant is going to be really dependent on the embryo or on the reserves in this corn seed until about V3. That's why a lot of times you'll see even where we don't have starter, we don't have a lot of nutrition down early, the cornfield will look pretty good up to about V3. But if we don't have good nutrition there after that, that's where it can kind of go to pot, if you will. That's where the two by two a lot of times will really kick in when that corn plant and the nodal roots start to hit that two by two at about V3 and it'll really get pretty vibrant. But what you can do later in the season is wherever you dig that plant up, if you measure down to where this nodal root system starts, that's typically about three quarters of an inch. That's because the corn plant, as it's sending that up, it can sense the far red and the infrared light, and that's where it'll typically put the nodal root system out. So if you basically measure from here to where you'll have a little crook, even after the seed's gone, see this little crook? That'll always be there. If you measure this part, and then you you measure, I'm sorry, measure the mesocotyl from here, from the nodal root system down to where the crook is, and then add about three quarters of an inch. That's gonna give you a pretty good feel for where that planting is. We've heard a little bit here in the Midwest with the cold temperatures we've had of some unfurling under the ground, uh, some challenges with some corn that was planted. And a lot of times that's because this seminal root system gets a little bit challenged or it gets chilled. Uh, as it's in its early stages. So that can cause it to unfurl underground or to be a little bit stunted. If you look down some of these rows, you'll even see a few of these plants right here. As we zoom in on this plant, that one was a little bit delayed. This one, it's not gonna make me an ear, probably at all. It's gonna be a weed. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, and uh, if you want any more agronomic information or you'd like to see some more videos from us, please contact us at www.360yieldcenter.com. Thank you.